Our top story this morning, Korea has summoned the Japanese ambassador to lodge a formal complaint over Tokyo's recent review of its landmark apology for its wartime system of sex slavery. Seoul says the re-verification was a purposeful attempt to erode the Kono statement's creditability. Our Huang Jie starts us off. With the relationship between Korea and Japan growing increasingly frosty over historical issues, Seoul summoned the Japanese ambassador on Monday. It came in response to Tokyo's announcement last week of its re-examination into the Kuno statement. Cho tae Korea's vice foreign minister, told Japanese envoy Kuro Pesho it's a historical fact that women were forced into sexual slavery by the Japanese military during World War II, and the whole world recognizes it. The more the Abe administration attempts to dismiss the Kono statement, the more its credibility and international reputation will suffer. Japan will have to know that for sure. The Abe government, while upholding the statement, claimed that Seoul was in close consultation with Japan when the statement was being drawn up. The Kono statement was issued back in 1993 by then Chief Cabinet Secretary Yohei Kono. It acknowledged for the first time the forced sexual enslavement of some 200,000 women. In addition to calling in the Japanese ambassador to complain about the move out of Tokyo, the Korean government plans to register historical records regarding the so-called comfort women with UNESCO and bring up the issue during United Nations meetings. Korea's foreign ministry is known to have tentatively concluded that the Japanese review was trying to diminish the testimonies of sexual slavery victims and the apologetic tone of the Kuno statement. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.